All right, everybody. Um, a quick one today. Um, finally, we have managed to um, get rid of the curse of no operational EPRs in Europe because uh, Okiluoto 3 has finally gone critical and is producing electricity. So uh, this is a huge, huge, huge milestone for European nuclear projects and the nuclear uh, and the future for nuclear energy in general in Europe. Um, because for a long time, we've had four uh, EPR projects ongoing in, in, in Europe being Okuluoto 3, Flamanville 3, and Hinkley Point C. Uh, now, Hinkley Point C is ongoing, and it, it, it looks like they're making uh, making up for lost time. Uh, Flamanville is still, you know, um, I don't know what's going on there. It's going to be maybe next year that they go online, who knows? Uh, probably going to be next year, because the thing is finished, as far as I can tell. Um, but the, the good thing is that if you look at uh, the production of Okulawoto 3, uh, w once it goes online and it produces, um, produces electricity uh, at full capacity, which means 1650 megawatts, which is not a small number, um, then it will help us reduce our uh, reliance on Russian gas a little bit, it, it, you know, uh, it's it's a big plant, but still we use a lot of gas in Europe. So, um, yeah. So, but but I'm very happy because we finally have a finished one in Europe, and um, even though it's big and clunky and uh, it, it costs a lot of money, uh, not saying that it is necessarily not a good deal. But it's just a lot of money that you need to invest, you know. Let's let's say that, suppose you want to build two, you need at least, let's say that the lowest figure is is, is maybe 12, maybe 14 billion euros. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a big investment. You, you really need state backing to get that done. Um, but here, here's, here's, here's the deal. Uh, we need more of these, so I'm very happy uh, to 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 see that France is uh, going to build six more. Uh, that England, by um, announcement of Quasi Quarteng, who is the Minister for Business in the UK, uh, says that he is going to move ahead with uh, Sizewell C. Uh, which is also a huge deal, and 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 then uh, you know let's hope that other countries will join in as well because we need as many of these projects as we can get our hands on uh, for the simple reason that once we build one, we can then uh, apply the lessons that we learned building those this one uh, power station to the next and the next and the next. Um, what you will see, and this is something that you can see at the Hinkley Point C already, is that um, for certain jobs that you need to do, like hoisting a, a very large component into place and then, you know, uh, attaching it to the building, um, takes 30% less time than it took the first time when you did it at the first unit. And this means that you can save money on the next build and then you can save money on the next build. And at some point you have figured out how to build these plans as good as you possibly can. And that's the point when you when you stop getting, you know, these uh, the, the, these lower prices for building these reactors. Um but it's, listen, this is a milestone. We have our first, I mean, it's not the very first EPR that has ever gone online. Uh, China already has two, Taishan 1 and Taishan 2. Um, but, you know, uh, China is not exporting their expertise. We can hire those people if we want to, you know, the people who built the EPRs in, in China. But it's it's likely that they already have a new job over there 
in the nuclear business, um, building uh, Yuolong Ones, for instance, which is a, a, a Chinese variant of a pressurized water reactor. So, uh, let's just take this for what it is. Beautiful. We have another 1650 megawatts online as we speak. And I believe that they start regular operation, um, I believe, uh, in a couple of months. So that's when they really start uh, pushing the megawatts out. But it's, it's now critical. It's producing electricity. So we no longer have this scourge of no operational EPRs in Europe. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.